Hello there everybody and welcome back to Lucius. In the last couple of videos we got the game started and we also took care of our first victim, Mary. Now we're on to chapter 2 which is entitled Smoking Kills and we were introduced to our second victim, Jean, in a cutscene in the last video. So let's read a little bit more here. Father's colleague, Jean. He visits my father sometimes for business. I hate when he smokes in the dining room. It gives me a headache. So there's not really a whole lot to go on, but you want to pay attention to your notebook because a lot of the titles of the cases and the information it gives you is pretty important to figuring the whole thing out. So we're going to head downstairs to the dining room and we're going to meet Jean. Along the way, I'm going to grab this screwdriver off of the table because we are going to need that. There are a lot of different items in the mansion that you can pick up at any time and you can use them in later cases, but I'm not going to be doing that if possible. There are a couple of items I want to pick up just because they're a really big pain to pick up later, but I don't want to confuse anybody by picking up items and not really showing you where I picked them up at. Or picking them up early and then using them in a much later chapter. So here's Gene, of course. When we walk downstairs, uh, we kind of well, zoom our sights in on him and really pay close up. attention to him, I letting us know that he is our I victim. And we can take care of Gene within a matter of minutes, really, if you know exactly what to do. Obviously, Smoking Kills has a bit of an indication about what it is now that we're going to be going. doing in order to take care of this guy. And his smoking obviously has a lot to do with it, so he's not going to be able to smoke without his matchbook. So that's the first thing we're going to be taking, is his matches off of the table. If there is a yellow outline around the hand, he's not able to see us and we're safe to take it. If I were to stand in front of Jean, Stop my detection around, indicator would be going off, and if I tried to lift the matchbook, he would be able to see us and he would catch us and it would be game over. So you have to be very stealthy when you're going about doing these cases, or you have to start the whole chapter over. So let's go ahead and take the matchbook, let's put it well, in our inventory. You, Let me look at you. And he should make a comment I've about his matchbook. Matches. And if you're not sure what to do next, you can follow Jean. And we can follow him to the kitchen. Obviously his matches are not in the kitchen, but he has a bright idea about how he is alternatively going to light his cigarettes. Hmm. Really not the uh, smartest of ideas in my opinion, but uh, this go. is going to work brilliantly for us. Because if we make it look like an accident, that's exactly what it will look like, an accident, and nobody will ever suspect us. So once he's lit his cigarette using the stove, he's going to turn around and go back. And then he'll give you your hint about using the screwdriver on the stove. So go ahead and pick up your screwdriver if you haven't already. Select it in your inventory, and you can then use it on the stove. And once that's done, all you have to do is sit back and wait for Gene to come back. He will come back as many times as necessary in order to complete this chapter. Just in case you missed a hint or you weren't really sure what to do or it's taken you a long time to find the screwdriver. So there really is only two steps to this next chapter here. Very, very easy. You basically lift his matches and then you go to the kitchen, you tamper with the stove, and that will finish him off. It might take a little while for him to come this way though. He will. Here he is. It just takes a while. So if you knew what to do right from the get-go, it really wouldn't take this long, but I do want to try and sort of systematically go through this using all of the steps because if I just go through and do it without explaining how it is that I did it, it kind of takes fun out of the game, you know what I mean? So here we are, this is the moment of truth.
Uh-huh. What can I say, Mr. Wagner? This is a real unfortunate series of events. Quite uncanny. Gene was my campaign manager and a friend of the family for many years. And we lost without him. I know this must be a difficult time for you, but we really must do an investigation here. I'll need to speak to your handyman about the gas leak. This shouldn't have happened. I had a feeling there was something weird going on in that house. I couldn't quite yet put the pieces together, so I took a step back for a while, let it brew. And after a few weeks, the call came in. Just when things were getting back to normal, there had been another accident in that godforsaken house. It happened on a rainy day. I think it was Tuesday. The janitor, who was known to be quite the drinker, was fixing a bathroom in the Lower West Wing. Alright, so we've successfully offered up another victim to our father, and he has come to pay us a little visit. Coming in to check on our progress, I suppose. You've been doing very well, haven't you? My, you make me proud. But I must teach you some of the more, let us say, subtle arts which you can use. You can train your mind to move objects at your will. Here, let me show you how. Okay, so he is going to give us another power. This is telekinesis. And with telekinesis, we're able to do a variety of different things. It's probably one of our most used powers, and we use it pretty much all throughout the game. So anything you can use telekinesis on will have this little icon here and you would click on it like you would any other object. And then you can drag it around and move it with the mouse. Let's try it again here. And now, now that we've done that, we need to move it into the box. So let's give it a shot here. I find telekinesis, it takes a little bit to get used to. I kind of struggle with it. Um, it's kind of a funky mechanic. Things don't always move the way you want to, but, you know, just keep at it. Eventually you'll get it. And a lot of the time, you won't get caught using it unless it's incredibly obvious. So let's move the car out of the way here and look at this teacup. We also have the ability to break objects with telekinesis, which is really, really useful. You can break fuse boxes, glasses, windows, all sorts of really cool things. And the last use that it has is to start machines, which, as you can imagine, is also very, very useful. Well, alrighty then. Thanks, Satan. I will definitely be putting that power to good use. And we are now on to chapter three. As you can see with Jean's death, it was severely more brutal than Mary's. I mean, it really wasn't graphic at all. She basically just froze to death and it was pretty humane, but Jean's death was pretty brutal. And that was kind of the warning I had given when I first started the game. Just kind of look as it progresses through the chapters. We get some really, really creative and some very, very gruesome deaths, but that's kind of one of the things I like about this game is just how it escalates. And things are going to get much harder as we continue onwards. So I'm really looking forward to that. And I'm going to be saving chapter three for the next video. I hope you guys have enjoyed and I hope that I will see you next time.